hey, you'll have to excuse my disheveled appearance, but I'm going to be out here road cruising tonight. And uh, honestly, most of this episode is probably going to be road cruising. So I hope you like it. First snake of the night looks like it's going to be a plain bellied water snake. Yes, it is. And there he is. Cool. Well, he's gone. That was fun. Snakes. Not even 60 seconds after the plain bellied water snake, we have a baby rat snake. Just a tiny guy. That's cool. I really love seeing baby rat snakes. Just really neat patterning and stuff. That's cool. I feel like it's gonna be a good night. Oh, somebody's cantankerous. Somebody's very upset. Why are you upset? What have I done? Ah! He's trying to hurt me. Hello, friend. Wanna be buds? Best friends? Nope, maybe not. Okay. Let's say goodbye to our friend here. Have a lovely day, sir. Or a lovely night, I guess. Go on. Next snake of the night, baby copperhead. I was just telling myself, or saying to myself, that I bet the next snake of the night is going to be a copperhead. And I was right, so hooray. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my hook out of the car and move our friend across the road. Is that a DOR? That's recent. There's a, what even is happening? DOR baby copperhead here, and then another one there. That is so crazy, that just happened on camera. And unrelenting, but as they shift with every passing moment, one thing is certain. No matter the battle, Marines adapt to win. Snake, looks like a rat snake. Next up, snake number four, juvenile rat snake. We'll just let him across the road here. I ain't even gonna mess with him, other than maybe a tiny tap to incentivize him. Cool. Snakes are really moving in force right now. I'm just getting a ton of them right at dusk and right after sunset. It's gonna be a good night. Back when you, when you Snake, that was a baby copperhead. I think we're on snake number five. I called this one from the car. I said it was a baby copperhead, and sure enough, it's a baby copper. I'm gonna keep it moving. All right, awesome. It is popping off tonight. Snake, you guys see that? Baby rat snake. Let's go get him. Got a baby rat snake here. These guys in copperheads have been the most common snakes tonight. Now, if my memory serves me, I think this makes snake number six. So I'll go ahead and get this guy out of the road. And here we are, snake number seven, copperhead. This is probably second biggest copperhead all night, so that's cool. Anyways, I'll move this guy out of the road and keep cruising. Let's speed things along there, bud. There's a snake. Looks like this is gonna be a rat snake. Or maybe that could be a copperhead. Let's see. Yep, this one's a copperhead. This is probably snake number eight, I think. It's getting so crazy tonight. Such a snaky road. This is awesome. I have more snakes to find. Scram, skadirtle. There you go. Have a nice life. I think activity might be slowing down a little bit, but here's a copperhead, and I think this makes snake number 10. So that's cool. Anyways. I guess I'll get this guy out of the road and keep on herping. Cool beans. Little diversity for the night. Got a decays brown snake. Anyways, I guess I have to pick him up 
See, these guys scare me more than copperheads because they poop really bad. And I don't like it. Oh, look at him being defensive. It's kind of weird for a brown snake. This guy acted so weird that I had to kind of stick around and look at him. He coiled up, he got in a strike position. Very weird for a brown snake. Anyways, I guess I'll tear myself away from the fascinating brown snake and keep moving. Back to back brown snakes. This one's a pretty big one. I'm gonna give him the good old scoot. Well, how about that? Bring the kids. See for yourself. It is huge. Gonna make a big slash. Snake. No other dealer can say they have them. Copperhead. Oh, Woo! When things sound. Here's an iconic duo. Some kind of bullfrog or green frog and a copperhead. I've kind of lost track of how many snakes I've seen at this point, but who even knows? I'd say copperheads have probably been the most common so far. All right, I'm done lying down on the road taking pictures of this thing, so we gonna keep on grinding. I'm convinced that as a species, armadillos are suicidal. They do everything they possibly can to get killed by vehicles. This one's gonna survive, for now at least. Looks like he just climbed out of the water or something. His bottom half looks kinda muddy and wet. Anywho, it's not a snake, so I'm gonna keep going. Here's a snake. I'm gonna guess plain-bellied water snake. Am I good at this or what? It's a plain bellied water snake. That's cool. I don't really see a lot of snakes on this part of the road because it's kind of more agricultural. But this guy's breaking the stereotype and decided to show up. Pretty sick. This is the second red bellied water snake I've gotten tonight, if you'll recall. This one's like a juvenile or a sub adult. Whoa, he just jumped. <laughs> Did you see that? Anyways, that one's just kind of a tiny one. If you'll remember the first one I got, that was like a chonkster, like two and a half feet or something crazy. This snake, it is a decayed brown snake. Cool. This is like the, maybe the fourth, could be the fifth one of the night. But because it's just a brown snake, I'm gonna move him across and keep grinding. There we go. We got us a serpent. Looks like an Eastern garter snake. I'm gonna help him cross the way he was going and keep on herping.